What's up, guys? Neil Orfuth here, and I'm going to take a look at Stochastics MLB DFS lineup generator for tonight's main slate. It is June 14th. I'm going to look at lineups for both DraftKings and FanDuel. While you're coming in, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. And if you're not familiar with the lineup generator, of course, uh, you can get it for 50% off right now using the link in the description of this video. It's going to be just $4.98 for your first week if you haven't tried it out yet. Just going to be $9 after that. Great, great deal for a product that is just going to give you only positive EV lineups. Every lineup you get in the DFS lineup generator has already been run through the Stochastic Sims, has already been found to be a plus EV lineup in the Sims, run 40,000, 50,000, many, many times. These Sims have been run, and every lineup that you're going to get here has been found to be plus EV in those Sims. Uh, so very cool. Knowing that you know you have the safety net of you're not going to get bad lineups. Any lineup you get out of this is going to be a plus EV one. We're going to start by looking at some DraftKings lineups. I'm going to do all stack types, and I'm going to do all lineup types. I'm not going to pigeonhole myself to just chalky, just contrarian, just balanced. I'm going to do all lineup types here. After we saw somebody last week take down $15,000 using the all lineup types. I'm not going to lock in any pitcher either. Just going to see what it gives me. All right. So first lineup we see here is a 5-3 Red Sox Angels stack with Luis Castillo and Justin Verlander as the pitchers. Verlander at 19% ownership. Not too crazy there. Castillo up at 35%. Uh, the Red Sox getting some ownership here. One of the looks like one of the higher owned stacks, but then bringing down the ownership with these Angels. Brandon Drury at 7%. Luis Renfigio, Ren, Renhifo at 7%, and uh, Shohei Otani at just 2% projected ownership for Shohei Otani. Hard not to like that. Uh, looking at these stacks, we've got the Red Sox and the Angels in the top stacks tool. Red Sox, top of the board, best odds of being the top stack on the entire slate. And then the Angels, a little bit lower down. Where are the Angels? Okay, they're here. Uh, looks like they're somewhere in the top 10, 8 or so there. Uh, with a 5% chance of in this top stack as well. Um, neither of these stacks, you know, getting positive leverage here other than the uh, the top value leverage here for the Red Sox. But in general, we have a little bit of negative leverage, but then you combine them together. That's a nice thing. It's, it's sometimes hard to know, like, okay, do I want to play all the best leverage spots? Do I want to play all the best projected spots? It's kind of hard to know that sometimes, but you know that the lineup generator is going to figure that out for you. It's going to balance your lineups with, you know, although, you know, the Angels overall looked a little bit over -owned, we're getting Shohei Otani at just 2% project ownership, 7% for the others in the Angels lineup. Kind of offsets the ownership on these Red Sox bats. So really, this is a nicely balanced lineup, even though we don't have the top leverage spots with these teams. All right, so I'm going to save this one. Second lineup, once again, it's a Red Sox five-man, this time with an Astros three-man. Uh, again, it's the secondary, the, the three-man stack that's bringing down the ownership a little bit with Bregman at just 6%. Uh, Dubon 5%, Kyle Tucker up at 10%, and then uh, Garrett Cole also bringing down the ownership quite a bit at just 6% projected ownership for Cole against the Mets. Uh, we have Kershaw up here at 35%. So again, we, we saw that the Red Sox top of the board and then uh, the Astros bring down the ownership a little bit. Uh, they're down here, you know, right around 10th in terms of top stack chances. A little bit of negative leverage there again, but we're playing some lower owned bats in the lineup. It's a nicely balanced lineup. And then of course we have Garrett Cole here balancing it out as well. It's just 6% ownership. So another good looking lineup. Now I'm just going to go through and save 20 lineups and see what comes out. This is a 12 game slate. So I'm hoping that I can get a little bit of balance in my lineups. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more Red Sox than I would like that I'd be, I'd be comfortable playing with. So, you know, you can play these 20 lineups just as is, you know, they're going to be plus EV. It's going to be a plus EV lineup set. You're going to, in the long run, probably make money if you just play the first 20 lineups that you get. However, you are risking a lot. Like if, if you're putting too much of your bankroll into it, you're risking a lot by having uh, the Red Sox in a majority of your lineups. It looks like we have 65% Connor Wong, 65% Justin Turner, 65% Christian Arroyo, 65% Ref Snyder. Uh, Duvall is up there, Pablo Reyes. Up there. So just Red Sox bats across the board getting a ton of ownership if you just use those first 20. I think my approach here, I would be more inclined to go back get rid of some of those Red Sox stacks. And then I might also uh, go back and just choose to go to some contrarian bats. So you could go here. I'll give you an example here. Uh, what you'd have to do in this case, get rid of, you know, a couple of Red Sox lineups. This one's another Red Sox format. I'll get rid of those two. 
uh, you know, you could get rid of more than that. You're, we're bringing down the ownership a little bit. And then if you want to just add only contrarian lineup, so you get away from some of the Red Sox, you can actually go back up here, click on lineup generator again, DraftKings main. Uh, I'm going to do all stack types, and then I'm going to go contrarian. The other 18 lineups that I had, there are going to be saved there. So you can go back and just go to contrarian lineups to try to get a away from some Red Sox. Of course, you still got a couple Red Sox in this one, but not as many. I'm, let's see if I can find one that doesn't have any. Looks like we're getting Red Sox in a lot of lineups here. So maybe, uh, okay, finally, here, here's one that does not have any Red Sox in it. Uh, I'm going to save that. See if I can find another one. Here's another one. We've got just the pitcher, but obviously not part of the stack. So I'm going to save that. And now those are added to your stack. We brought down the ownership on these Red Sox bats a little bit. So that's probably probably my uh, going to be my general approach is I'm probably trying to uh, dampen the ownership a little bit on the high end obviously slate dependent but on a 12 game slate like this thing you can go a lot of different directions so that would be my approach let's take a look at some fan duel lineups as well so i'm going to go back to lineup generator fan duel main all stack types all lineup types once again and i'm not going to lock in any players all right first lineup we see once again uh we've got a four-man red Sox. we've also got uh one off of nick prado for kansas city and then a three-man Houston stack here, bringing down the ownership. Jeremy Pena, just 2% projected ownership. Alex Bregman, 7%. Nick Prado is just 9%. So not crazy high ownership on this lineup. We also have Fran Valdez up at 11,300, but just getting 9% projected ownership. So that one looks good as well. And if we look at the top stacks tool for FanDuel, I'm guessing the Red Sox will also be near the top here. And sure enough, they are top of the board, 13% chance to be in the top stack. They look good. Uh, Houston, once again, you know, top 10 or so looks good as well. And looking at the pitchers for FanDuel, Fran Valdez, number two in terms of uh, top pitcher odds and getting much lower ownership than Clayton Kershaw, who's the only player above him in top pitcher odds. So it looks like a good play there. All right, I'm going to save this one. And once again, we get the four-man Red Sox stack with Fran Valdez. Now we have a three-man uh, Cub stack with uh, Bobby Witt as the one-off. So kind of a similar construction to the last one, but we have the secondary stack bringing down the ownership a little bit, especially uh, Nico Horner, just 4% projected ownership. And again, Fran Valdez bringing down the ownership. So I'll save this one. I'm just going to go through and save 20, see what we get. All right, so once again, get into a ton of Red Sox. I would take the same approach. Go back, delete some of these, discard some of these Red Sox lineups, go back, find some contrarian lineups to see if I can get to some more non-Red Sox, non-Red Sox bats. But again, first lineups you run through, you're, you're going to get 20 plus EV lineups. It's just, uh, you're going to be taking on a lot of risk if you're playing a lot of one team. So it's just a matter of, it's not a matter of playing better lineups. It's just a matter of uh, mitigating some of the risk involved in my lineup so that I can extend my play longer and hopefully uh, realize my EV over time. Um, all right, that is going to do it for this video. Again, use the link in the description if you want to uh, have access to lineup generator for 50% off your first week, just $4 and 98 cents, $4 and yes, 98 cents, I believe maybe, maybe $4 and 48 cents, whatever it is, 50%, $4, 48 cents. I think 50% off, check it out. If you haven't already, it is a fantastic deal for a tool that is only going to give you plus EV lineups. Thanks for watching and good luck tonight.